This is Dr. Mike McLaughlin. He's one of the leading minds in crop nutrition research. In fact, his work as a research fellow at South Australia's University of Adelaide will help shape the future of fertilizer. We asked him to drop some science on us. He obliged. So say in North America and Australia, very similar trends in terms of farmers looking for more efficient nutrients. Farmers also concerned about how environmental losses of nutrients could affect their right to farm effectively. Regulations uh, controlling greenhouse gas emissions or regulations controlling water quality could impinge on farming in the future and that feeds through into development of more efficient fertilizer products and development of more environmentally friendly fertilizer products where losses are less, to capture more nutrients in the crops and obviously uh, the cost then per unit nutrient has to be competitive for the farmer. We've got various uh, research programs going at the moment. We've got programs on phosphorus, programs on trace elements, so zinc would be a major trace element of interest, and we also have a program on potash. So in phosphorus, we've been looking at different chemical compounds that can add to phosphorus fertilizers that can improve the efficiency. Phosphorus undergoes various reactions in soil that can tie the nutrient up. We're looking for new technologies that can reduce those tie-up processes in the soil and ensure the plant can get uh, better access to the nutrients that we add. Similarly with zinc, say zinc, copper or manganese, all micronutrients that are a problem when you add them to phosphorus fertilizers, they undergo reactions in the, in the granule which reduce the availability. So we're now looking at treatments of the granule, adding either compounds or chemicals to improve the availability of those micronutrients when they're added with the phosphate. Similarly, the same sort of thing would happen uh, if we were adding them to MOP. The reactions are different when you add trace elements to MOP, but again we can add compounds to MOP to improve the efficiency of those trace elements.